Hey guys, and welcome back to Kenshi. It's been a while. It's been a while. And uh, Kenshi, this is going to be a solo challenge too. You guys requested it. You guys overwhelmingly uh, voted for this one. We're going to do a man and his dog, but Kenshi uh, solo challenge two is what you guys wanted to see. I'm going to give a little stats to uh, the original video, Kenshi solo challenge episode one. Uh, was the most popular video by far on my channel, like by far, huge, um, 26,500 views at the time of this recording, uh, and about 4,000 hours of watch time, plus 230 subscribers, uh, just on that one video, so it was just a massive boost to my channel, so thank you guys for watching that, and we're going to get to the Solo Challenge 2, totally unrelated to that one, um, but uh, we're going to probably start as a Wanderer, probably going to start as a Wanderer, group of five nobodies, no, I think we're going to, a guy with a dog, no, nope, we're not going to do that one. Rock bottom. You've hit. <laughs> you're alone, unarmed, naked, and hungry. Um. Trade playstyles trading RPG. Is this one new? Saves on a backpack. Trade goods. Okay, so we're gonna do wanderer. You're just a lone wanderer with nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants, and a rusty sword, ready to venture out into the world. All right, this is the way the game is intended to be played. So we're gonna check out the advanced options. Hunger time, chance of death. I think we'll probably leave all this stuff. We might do easy... Well, we're not going to do prospecting too much, so we'll leave that. And I think uh, that's probably good, so we're going to begin. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited for this series. This might go long, longer than the original one, which was 82 episodes. So definitely check that out while you're waiting for this one. And I'll post it in the comments, the link to that episode, if you haven't seen it. But it was a major uh, contributor to the success of this channel. So thank you guys, and we're bringing it back. So all the, all the updates, all the big stuff, the game is out of early access. When we were playing the original Solo Challenge, there was only, I think, a little chunk of the map that was revealed. And now we should have access to everything, so that should be pretty cool. I am super, super excited to bring this to you guys. I know uh, you guys have been requesting Kenshi to make a return, and here it is. Here it is in all its glory, and uh, ooh, we could be 100, 150 episodes. So get ready, guys. Smash that subscribe button, because there is going to be definitely more Kenshi coming. Um, probably going to do this in the, the format is going to be the same, so it's going to be an uncut series. And then also, uh, we'll probably be, you know, in the slow times of Kenshi, um, I'll be streaming it on Twitch, so you guys can definitely come say hi. I think the first couple episodes I'll do kind of uh, an hour premiere and then a half an hour and so on. And uh, what we'll do is we'll talk about different topics kind of in the slow parts in between towns. So if you guys want to hop in uh, Twitch Trump on Twitch TV, uh, twitch.tv, and uh, I should pop up there and you can follow and uh, be notified when I go live so you can actually take part. So I want to do like maybe a two or a four hour stream and then break those up into half an hour episodes. So that should um, give me more interaction with you guys and then also more content. So we'll, if, it um, if the episode ends abruptly, then, uh, then you'll know that I cut it. So about a half an hour increment so this first one will be an hour long so we're gonna do we're probably gonna do a female playthrough this time so we're gonna do a human and we're gonna try a female we haven't done that before so I think that would be pretty interesting and then um, I don't know what some of this stuff does okay so farming cooking and science is our race tr our race stats, but if we go to a different race, uh, skeleton obviously, hive gives you a bonus to a lot of different stuff. Check human. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do a human Greenlander female. I've never done a female playthrough, 
And I think that'll be very interesting. So, and then it kind of matches up with our um, our picture that we've got selected for the game. So, um, idle stance. This is I always like this stuff. This is pretty cool. So much detail into this game. Kind of like. I don't like this one with the arms crossed, yeah? Skin tone. This gets darker and lighter. Probably around there. Height. Maybe we'll make her a little bit shorter. That's kind of cool. Posture, shoulder set. Neck position. Kind of have her up a little bit more upright. Uh, leg length. Maybe have a little bit longer legs. And then we'll make her height a little bit down. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Shoulders. You like that? Arm bulk. Probably on the skinnier side. Uh, hands. Chest. Rest size. I know you guys will probably like this. Some of you guys may, so we'll make them decent. All right. I don't know. About right there. Okay. I'm just messing around with this really quick. Okay. Alright, do we have hair? Oh, we have face and hair. So let's do the face I won't mess around with too much. Let me let me check the hair real quick and see if we can get something decent here. Um I kinda like that hair actually. That first uh selection was actually pretty decent. There is a lot of different styles here, guys. Tons. 40 of them. We can always change, I think, as well, so. She looks kind of, you know, spunky with the, um, with this kind of hair. But we'll definitely change the color here. You know what? We're going to do something, probably something that I would never usually do, and we're going to do like purple. We're going to do purple hair. Nice and bright. All right. And I think that'll be pretty cool. I think that'll be pretty cool, guys. I'm super, super excited. Is this the name? Fade? You know, I like that name, Fade. I think we'll probably keep that. All right, let's let's confirm. And here we are, it's Fade. All right, so we're kind of, uh, yeah, we'll kind of tell the story. I guess we're, we're gonna create our own story. So right now, we have nothing. We have a little bit in our inventory of pants and a, like a basic weapon, an iron club, and uh, We'll kind of probably just kind of look around a little bit. Everything's going to be one, and uh, we're going to have to build up our stuff. So maybe we start uh, stealing a little bit. It's been a long time since I played this game, so I might not know the controls. Where did we start? We started at the hub. So, um, let's see. There was a menu here that you can adjust all this stuff, was it? squads we're not going to be nameless we're going to be we're going to do solo challenge solo challenge two there we go perfect all right fade i like our new character with the purple hair okay so we probably need to see if we can get a backpack if we're if we're at the hub yeah, we are at the hub. Perfect. 
we could probably um, go over here and join the Thieves Guild. I have a little bit of knowledge from obviously the first couple playthroughs. Um, so I know a little bit what I'm doing, but you guys will probably have to give me some pointers. We can rebuild, we can start a base here too and rebuild in the hub, which we may do. Talk to the boss if you want to talk business. Thief boss. I want to join for a fee. 10,000 cats. Okay, so we're going to have to steal some stuff. So you get yourself allies. Um, we'll have hideouts and towns. We watch each other's back. Shinobi thieves stick together. So eventually we want to join these guys. We don't have any money to do so right now. We may try to... Um, See if we can use their dummies. I don't know if they're, they're going to let us. i got to remember how to use this game. I wonder... We could probably do some lock picking and stuff here too. So let me save it. We're going to save a lot. This is the solo challenge... Uh, I already have solo challenge too. So let's name this one... Let's name this one Fade Solo Challenge 2. Okay. I just don't want them to start attacking me. So if I go inventory, we kind of want to build up maybe our martial arts a little bit. Can I use this or no? If I come over here. Training. Maybe I have to have a weapon in there. This will be our number one weapon. Maybe because I'm not part of them, I can't use this stuff. I don't know. And I gotta really get used to the controls here. Training. No, I can use their stuff. So we'll do a little lock picking here, just to get our skills up a little bit, and then we're gonna go steal some stuff and get some money. That is one of my, I don't know what it is about this game, it's so satisfying when you, when you steal stuff from other towns. I, and I'm, <laughs> this, this, I don't know, this has some of the best, like most satisfying stealing. So we're, we're getting our lock picking up. We'll have to get a little bit more stealth. So I think I can get this up pretty quickly here, as you can see. But it looks like they update live now, which is pretty cool. I remember you had to like go like this and bounce back before, but now it looks like that's been fixed. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we'll get our lock picking up to maybe like five or six or something like that. Okay. Well, he doesn't want us to do that apparently. So leave it alone. Okay. But we'll 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 continue on. There's not much we can do here. So we'll uh maybe we'll do a little sneaking, try to get our sneak up a little bit. So I'll press that on. And uh everyone's going to spot us of course, but see if we can get our stealth up. You can see it's going up. It's at 9%. 11%, 12%. So we'll, we'll uh, kind of uh, maybe fast forward it a little bit here and uh, see what we can do. Now we're going to get our butts kicked quite a bit in this game and that's okay because it builds toughness. Where is the way out? It looks like over here. So if I find some small groups, I'm going to engage right away. Now you guys will have to let me know what you want to see. We did katanas on the first playthrough. I was thinking more like martial arts would be kind of cool. But um, we, we, might be, we might be able to master, if you guys really like this, we might be able to master everything. If we do over 100 episodes, we could probably master just about everything. So um, we'll continue on over here. Okay, where do I want to go first? 
this is kind of a an easier area. There's some probably some some guys. Maybe I can fight one on one. There's a lone shack up to the north. Mm. Maybe we'll head to Squin. Because we do need to uh we do need to save up some money to buy a backpack and kind of get some of the basic stuff taken care of. So maybe we head that direction. And I can do some some mining and all that good stuff. So we'll double click. Oops. All right, our stealth has moved to two. We're still we're still moving up, so that's good. And hey, that's gonna be a good name because we're gonna be kind of a ninja. And our goal is to be the best in the game. We could take on anyone. We could take on multiple enemies. All right, we may may need to fast forward it a little bit. All right. So we'll get our stealth up quite a bit, sneaking around. And uh, we might find a good spot to, uh, to get some iron, too, and uh, weigh us down so we can build a little bit of strength, because we'll need that. Definitely need some strength, but I want to get close to a town just in case I get attacked. I can kind of run away. Is that going up still? It's not really going to go up when there's no one around. That is the one trick to it. So maybe we take sneak off. And now we're rolling really fast. Game seems to be a little bit more optimized than uh, when we originally played it. The loading screens were pretty rough. And the auto saves. We'll head over to Squin, keeping my eyes out for potential problems because we're we're gonna have some real big issues if we find if we accidentally get into a big fight. I'd like to start training my my fighting up as soon as possible. So if if an opportunity presents itself and I'm uh, against one or two people that are low level, then I'm I'm definitely gonna jump in and engage them to uh, to build a little bit. We'll probably need some armor, which I can steal, and uh, yeah, there'll be a lot of theft. But we'll get our, our skills so up that we'll, yeah, we'll fade away. No one will know that we're coming. I think that's a good name. Okay, now there there should be some iron deposits and, and a bunch of different stuff here, so. There used to be one. These guys won't like us because we're human. There used to be one. Um, I don't know if it's here or if they removed it. Because a lot of people came in this town and did the same thing. And it was like, right... But yeah, I think they must have removed that deposit. Because it was like right around here somewhere. And you could get up here and just mine it all day and not even be attacked. But I think it's now gone because they made it was probably too easy to, uh, to level up. So maybe we go around here. Oh, you there. What does he want? Bag check. Okay, that's fine. Um, Show him your gear. Okay. So let's see if we can find something to mine. Remember, this will be an uncut series. So I'm showing you guys everything. If I uh, die or whatever, or, or get beat up pretty bad, it's, it's the way it's going to be. I don't know if we'll... Uh, we might load if we die, but... Because <laughs> we're going to continue the series. We'll see how it goes, though. I think we'll we'll be okay. 
last one we got in prison pretty quickly and got thrown in jail and had to break out of jail, but we'll we'll definitely do some some stuff here. Um, is there anything around here? There's not much, is there? going to go around the edge of the town because I do want to go in there and, and uh, break in and, and steal some stuff at some point. Probably want to get our skills up a little bit. Uh, right here. Okay, what is this? Is this the one that weighs a lot? This is copper. Copper doesn't weigh as much as iron, so I want iron probably more than copper. We might just start off with iron if I can't find anything decently close. Hmm. Well, we can definitely sell some of the copper, so I might do that. We might go get some copper real quick, and then sell it, get a little bit of money, see if we can buy some food or some basic stuff. Um, our hunger will go down eventually, so we'll, we'll need a little bit of cash. And this will at least weigh us down a little bit. Now our skills are going to be pretty horrible in this, so um, where is that? That is weaponsmith, armorsmith, labor. I think that's laboring, right? So you can see laboring is going up. So the faster this goes up, the faster we'll uh, be able to mine stuff. I'm going to probably do this for a little bit. Make sure we get a little bit of income. I don't know how much these sell for anymore. They might have changed all the prices too. It's been such a long time since we've uh, since we played this game. This will give us some weight at least so we can get our strength up, which is going to be very, very important. already got our lock picking and sneak up just a hair. Athletics is up to seven. Laboring up to three. And we'll fill our inventory up. So yeah, like I said, during these slow moments, uh, I'm going to be streaming. So we'll, we'll uh, you guys can definitely join and we'll have conversations about various different topics. Yeah, autosave is a lot quicker. See, our weight is going to go up. And uh, that's what we want. We want to weigh us down a little bit so we can build our strength up quite a bit and get this to say heavy. Get our laboring up, get a little bit of money. Gosh, I'm super, I'm super excited about this. It's been a long time for Kenshi. And uh, like I said, it's been a huge success on the channel, and and uh, this is for you guys, for for everyone that uh, watched Kenshi. This is this is for you guys. So thank you guys for everything that you guys have done, and subscribing, and all that, and commenting, and um, yeah, that was. Uh, I would say that video is a major. That whole series was um, a turning point for the channel. Between that and Freeman, I think I was doing about the same time and uh made a huge difference so thank you guys we're at lightweight now so we're still still got plenty of room to go here so we'll uh keep on going got it fast forward all the way to the max and then we'll we'll sell some of this we'll we'll carry around a little bit and then we'll we'll try to break in so it's 5 45 in the morning six o'clock in the morning we'll probably wait till night these guys aren't attacking me. I should be watching my surroundings. Because as people pass through here, we may get attacked. But we're we're very close to the city, so uh, we should be okay. Yeah, it's getting there. Laboring is up to 7, almost 8. 
beautiful coming along. And these probably don't sell for very much. But we're now we're moderate. We'll do a couple more, maybe like four more. I think that's about all I can fit. And we'll walk around a little bit. We'll get our sneak up a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try to break in. We'll probably get arrested and thrown in jail, but we can break out of that too. Kind of just create our own story. Oh, should be pretty fun. Pretty, pretty fun. I am so glad to be playing this game again. All right, so we're heavy. Maybe we do just do one more. That should pop us up over, start giving us a boost. There's a group over there, it looks like. No one's coming around that side. We're okay. If I can get a little bit more armor. Okay, so we'll stop. And this should be building our strength now. So if I go into stats... And I go to strength, you can see now we're at 3% because we're, we're our max carry weight is only 16, but this should uh, boost us up quite a bit. So this one's more slow leveling. And maybe we can get lucky and we can get into a fight by the town entrance, but these guys are, what are these guys? These are hungry bandit leaders. Maybe we can go get them to, uh, we can kite them over to fight these guys and then steal some of their stuff. Maybe that's what we do. Yeah, our hunger is definitely going down. Well, we could probably do that next. So let's go into town. There'll be more people passing by and we can uh, definitely get into some fights, but I want to be weighed, weighed down a little bit less when we get into a fight. I think that'll help a little bit. We definitely need to get a backpack at some point as well, so we can just carry a ton. But let's go to... There's a bar here. We definitely need to get some food, so I might go to the bar first. Yeah, female playthrough should be interesting. I don't think the Holy Nation will like us, so... That'll make it tough around there. They they seem to only like uh, human males. All right, show me what you've got. All right, let's get a little bit of dried meat. How much is this? This is uh, these are eighty cats. So we'll we'll stock up on that. Um. I could sell these for actually quite a bit. Sell value is 169. Let's sell a couple of them. Okay. And made a little bit of money off of that. So decent amount. And uh, what time is it? It's 1240 in the afternoon. Okay. Maybe we sell all of it because we want to open up our inventory space a little bit, but, and sometimes the camera, let's, let's just sell all of it for now, and then we'll stock up, we'll, we'll try to break in and see if we can, uh, there we go, we got 2,000 cats, so we doubled our money, and we need to get up to 10,000 to, uh, join the Shinobi Thieves, but, um, let's see, what, where do we want to break into? We're probably going to be very unsuccessful, but that's okay. If I hold alt, it tells me, okay, so this is the armor place. So let me see if there's any good armor or anything that I can buy. Just to give us a little protection. Now, the more armor I wear, or the heavier armor I wear, the harder it is to, to steal stuff. So we probably don't want to go heavy armor. We probably want to go lighter armor. Okay, so all this stuff is going to be probably well out of our price range. Yeah, 2800 
I'd like to get something just a little bit and maybe a shirt or something light standard grade wow the difference between the value is quite a bit probably be better off just steal breaking in here and stealing some of the stuff which we may try to do 2600 versus yeah 147 I'm gonna definitely buy that give us a shirt um Okay, I think we'll we'll try we'll wait for night and we'll try to break in here. So maybe we get our sneak. Our, ugh, I can't talk today. Our sneak ability up just a little bit more. And another way to do it, at least it worked really well before, is because there's people in town and you just basically walk up and down. Let's see if we're getting anything. Stealth is going up. It's good. So we're going to wait till night and try to break in, but in the meantime, I'm going to work up our stealth. So we'll just kind of go back and forth until uh, until nighttime, and then we'll give it a shot, guys. All right. slow start to this game but once we get once we get going it uh, it is a lot of fun but at first it's going to be a struggle okay stealth is getting up there That shirt, let's see what we look like. We look a little bit better with that leather shirt on. We'll keep on doing this until night. When the shops close, we'll try to break in and see what we can do. Yep, our stealth is six. Lock picking is still pretty horrible. We're probably going to get arrested. It's probably a horrible idea to do it this early, but I, I kind of want to get some decent gear and some money really quickly. So we're going to attempt it at the cost of being imprisoned um, and losing relation to this faction. So the Shek faction, but I think it's going to be worth it just to get our stats up. And if we can pull it off, then it'll be a major victory. We might open a we might buy a little uh, building in here to uh, get our base going. Probably do it in the hub. I think the hub would be cool because I think I did this. I think I chose to build our base last time in here. Or maybe we didn't even have a base. I don't even know. Can't remember. It's been so long. All right. We're getting towards nighttime. I think the shops close around 2200. The doors will... The doors will shut. We'll keep on walking back and forth until these doors close. And then uh, we'll see if a guard's not watching. We'll see if we can... See if we can break in. Stealth is now 8. We can get that to nine before we break in. Looks like there's a fight in the in there. Are these shops ever gonna close? Okay, there it closed. So let's pause it here and figure out our plan of attack. Usually there's a guard that comes and chills in front of these. So this is pretty well lit, unfortunately. These lights are going to cause uh, issues to breaking in. I don't think they were there when we first played, so that's something that they added to uh, make stealing and breaking in probably a little bit tougher. Now, you can always check and see if these guys are asleep up here, so we want to do that. Probably wait just a little bit longer to break in. Actually, it's going to take probably a little bit to break into the door right here. Someone has definitely spotted us. 
Let's see how close I can get. There's some fights going on. There's a bunch of action going on here. Hmm. Is there going to be a better spot to break in, maybe? I didn't even check this building. Maybe we check that building first. We gotta, we gotta go somewhere where there's a little bit less action, I think. So, maybe... Maybe we break in here. It's a little dark or over here. So maybe we try that. I, I think there's just too many guys coming in and out here. Speed this up a little bit. But we have about... We'll have about five hours or so. Let's let's just see what how we look here. Okay, this is much better. Okay, we gotta be very, very careful, guys. Let's save. Okay, we'll get our lock picking skill up a little bit too. Yeah, it is a little bit darker over here, so this is nice. This guy doesn't seem to see us. This could go very bad if he if he turns around. But we got to be very very careful. Only have a ten point nine percent chance, but that that'll definitely go up as we keep on uh, trying to get in here. Ooh, the tension. We get. Can we break in in time? Still got about what five a.m. is usually when I want to get out of there. They may. They may have changed that too, but uh, we're looking at about twelve thirty in the morning. Ooh, I'm gonna have to be very very quick here if this guy decides to turn around. Our lock picking is definitely going up. But this is a good way to make money. And Fade doesn't know any better. She's just kind of trying to survive. So trying to uh I guess find her her path. Early beginnings. Yep, that's it right there. We're going to get arrested. See, I knew that was going to happen. All right, we're running. We um, will probably have to fight. Yep. Yeah, we're going to... <laughs> fade fade is dead fade is dead wow so that is that game over <laughs> is that game over i think that's game over guys wow that happened a little quicker than i thought that happened a lot quicker than i thought okay where are we at So we got to be very, very careful now. I do have the uh, like dismemberment turned up to frequent. So uh, just to spice things up a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's fade. Okay, so let's let's try this again. Is this guy still here? Hmm. Yeah, these guys are just gonna totally wreck us. There's a lot more of them now. Yeah, we're very weak. We don't have any armor or anything, so. I don't want to 
attack. Well, maybe we'll pick the lock for a little bit. Or no. Nope, this guy's going to see us. Oh, yep. Alarm raised. Okay. So that time we didn't die. We just got knocked unconscious. So that's fine. That's, that's kind of what I was hoping for to happen in the first place. Those other guys just killed us really quick. So it's going to start off a little bit like uh, the previous the previous playthrough where we get kind of caught, which is fine. I, I kind of like the, the challenge of uh, breaking out, but uh, the, the first time there, they just totally... Uh, <laughs> there's a guy with no legs there. So this will be a fun challenge. Ooh, there's a dummy, a practice dummy there. Ooh, it's going to be really, really tough to get out of here, but maybe we... We can break out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, we're still unconscious. Yep. Are they gonna heal us up a little bit? Usually they heal us up a little bit. Still got a little bit of food. I don't think they're going to take anything from us. Still unconscious. Okay, and that probably built our toughness up a little bit too. So our toughness is now two, almost three. All right, recovery coma. We'll have to fast forward time a little bit here. And see where we can escape. We can definitely break through. Pick this lock and uh and get out of here somehow. I got a thousand bounty. I think after a certain time that they free you as well. Yeah, this is the part of the game where you get a little bit of a little bit of downtime. So as soon as we wake up, we're gonna we're definitely gonna try to break out of here. Maybe they'll free us. Who knows? It looks like they're freeing some people, or they're selling them to the the slavers. Who knows? Fade had a bad start here. Well, this is what she looks like. A little bit big of a neck there. Maybe I should have, uh... She still looks pretty cool, though. We might change that in the future episode. I think you can do, like, a... Talk to certain people, and you can change your look. But we can definitely adjust it. Uh, I like the purple hair. I think she looks pretty cool. So we'll fast forward time a little bit, and as soon as we're out of this recovery coma, which will probably be when this goes to from negative 35 to zero, would be my guess when we wake up. We'll be okay though, I think we'll be okay. I'm sure we'll get out of this at some point here. I can't believe we died. Uh, <laughs> we literally died in a couple of hits. Like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, we have a little turned up difficulty wise, so. As much as I can, anyway. To make it a little bit more challenging. And uh, yeah, the limb is on. The limbs are on frequent, or the highest one that you can put it on. I can't remember what it is, but we may, we may end up losing some limbs, but we'll definitely be taking some limbs off of uh off of other people so it looks like the prison's pretty empty now we'll see if they sell us off to some slavers which then that'll give us a really good opportunity to uh break out so now we're awake let's see 
Let's see if we can pick the lock here and get out of here. Take a look down here. There's the guard right there. Looks like we're okay. We're gonna get our lock picking skill up in the meantime. I gotta remember to take the jobs off of being a prisoner. When we break out of here, so. I think that's the big issue I had with the, the first playthrough is I didn't know that you had to unselect that on the jobs. So our jobs are, I don't know what our jobs are. No jobs assigned right now. But hopefully we can break out of here at a decent, a decent pace. They're gonna come check on me in a little bit so I gotta be very, very careful. Our lock picking up a little bit. Level 7. Well, that's good. That's going to help us out. Healing up not too bad. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here, guys. Let us see if we can get out of here. Fade can break through her tough beginnings. She's already in prison, so not a great start, but that's okay. That's part of this game, is going on an adventure and and uh, telling a story, showing a story like, ah, there we go. We are free. Let's see. Set free. Escape. There we go. All right, let's go sneak. Let's see what's upstairs. Is there anything up here that we can grab, possibly? There's possibly something up here. We'll check these barrels real quick and see if there's something that'll give us an advantage, or food or something. Nothing. Nothing. And I don't think there's anything else up here. This building looks like it's about ready to fall over. Alright. There's the guard down there. I press Alt. I can see wooden bowl, hacksaw, splint kit, medical supplies. Maybe we let someone else out? And create a diversion. Maybe that's how we go about it. So let's take some of this stuff. We might as well... See if we can let this guy out. I don't know how we're going to sneak around this guy. It's going to be tough. Surprised he hasn't come up and checked on us yet. Looks like our bounty went away. Or maybe because we're committing a crime, it takes up that little spot over here. Oh, our bounty is still there. So our bounty will expire in 25 hours. So we'll we'll break out. We'll try to break out. And then if our bounty um, continues, we'll have to wait a whole day, it looks like, to get out of prison. But we can't sneak out of here. It's about 25 hours, I think. Let's see if it adds more time if we try to break out. But I'm going to see if I can create a distraction. If I can get this guy to, you know, cause a fight, then we might be okay. We could sneak around and try to get out. So, Or we can go pay our bounty. Either way. We might try to heal up a little bit too. We can heal ourselves now. So if I go jobs and then I shift click. How that 
it works? I can't remember now. Medic. If I can be a medic. There we go. So now I'm a medic. And uh, we'll continue trying to pick this lock. Getting our lockpick skill up as well. 13. Not too bad. That's a good start for the first episode. We spent it, a lot of it in prison, but, you know, we're getting it there. That's going to serve us well later. Get our thievery up a little bit, too. The ability to steal things from containers, safe storage boxes, and people. We'll see if we can free this guy. Maybe he'll just want to fight us, like, right away. Where are you doing? Now what am I supposed to do? Set free. Uh... Hmm... All right, well, <laughs> are they gonna let, let us just walk? Maybe he's just gonna let us walk down. All right, maybe I uh, did the right thing in, in causing a, a distraction. Let's see what happens with these guys. Sneak, oh, they see us. All right, I think probably the best option that we can do, see if we can just get out of here. don't seem to be paying attention to us. Our stomach is a little bit low. These guys all see us, so... Alright. Well, that worked out better. I think the United Cities, um... They, uh, they're a little harsher. They'll, they'll sell you to a slave camp and you can break out of there, but... I guess we'll head over to the hub again and see if um, we'll probably try to visit a couple other cities. Ooh, who's this? Scratch Tech Hunters. I would get demolished by that guy. He's got 66 attack. That's pretty crazy. Um, okay, so let's go. And we got to find all the uh, the cities again. We'll probably try to head over this direction and uh, stop by the hub. And we'll see if the Holy Nation, um, some of those towns might be a little bit easier to steal from if I can get in without any problems. They might just attack me like KOS, you know, kill on sight, because they don't uh, typically like females or any other race that's not human. So that, that'll make it tough. It'll make it tough. All right, I gotta be very, very aware of what's going on, but I wanted to get out of check as quickly as possible. Still have our bounty for another, we're wanted for burglary. See if there's a good spot to uh, get some iron, and uh, that'll build up some strength as well. So yeah, let me see. Oh, we're going through a little load screen here. And when Kenshi 2 comes out, you can rest assured there will be a solo challenge for Kenshi 2. Absolutely, 100%. We will be playing that game. Probably won't be out for another couple of years, but I'm, uh, I'm excited for that one. That takes place before this one. How do you get out of this, um... Hmm. Can't seem to get out of this view. 
that like a tab thing? I don't know. Middle mouse button, okay. Yeah, the controls are a little bit funky, and then when you get used to them, they're pretty good, but it's been a while since I played this, so. All right, let's see what we can do here. Is there any shops or something that they added? It looks like there's some other buildings here. We could probably pick up some some more stuff. Sell. What is this? This is a bar here. So we can definitely sell some of this stuff at the bar. Hopefully. Empty rum bottle. Take all this stuff. Empty grog can. Nothing really. Can't really talk to this guy. Or this guy. Welcome, friend. Show me what you've got. All right. Let's see, what can we sell this for? Hardly anything. It's pretty much worthless, but we're going to sell it anyway. Okay. Get a little bit of money. Is there anything that's worth it? I don't really have any food, so I'm going to purchase a little bit of food. It's like you got to eat quite a bit in this, too. Uh, we'll get some bread, too, just to make sure that we're okay. I think, um, I think what I want to do is probably get a lot more resources and sell them if I can find an iron deposit. I could sell some of this stuff, but it's, I mean, it, it's almost not even worth it. Water jug, maybe? Mm, I'm holding alt if you guys are curious to see what's here. We could buy one of these buildings, too, at some point and uh, create a little base here. I think would be kind of cool. So you can click on this. This is 1500 to buy this and we can build it up and and do something with it here but which we probably will i think the hub is a good central location but i gotta find some kind of resource gathering somewhere around here hmm oh right here is this iron this is iron. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. But we'll do a little bit of iron. We'll sell, try to get our money up a little bit. So we'll probably do that in the next couple episodes. Like I said, this is going to be an uncut series. Kenshi 2, yeah, they're making a Kenshi 2. All right, I just caught the chat there. Yeah, Kenshi 2 was announced. I think a while ago, like a year ago. All right, we'll fast forward a little bit and then we'll probably uh, end this episode. And then, like I said, uh, my plans are to stream like two, three, four hour increments. And then when I upload to YouTube, I'll break those um, into like half an hour episodes. This first one, the first couple episodes, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do a smaller stream like an hour or half an hour. Uh, definitely the first one will be an hour, but. Let's see if we can weigh us down. See, that weighs quite a bit more. Do one more. I don't know if it's worth more though. It might be worth less, but it weighs more. I feel like we eat a ton of food in this too. Like the food is already gone so maybe they adjusted that to where you just eat a ton of food and we'll get this last one we'll probably end the episode right here so uh, definitely if you guys are watching on YouTube uh, probably episode 2 will come tomorrow so smash that subscribe button you're uh, watching on Twitch, uh, definitely follow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.